And so these are things that just come popping through your brain, you see, because I'm talking about walking. And um, let me talk about my walking first, because not my walking, but people walking, because I'm, I'm interested in that uh, subject from, from observation. But I, um, I, I, I was wondering if it, maybe it's worth it if um, everybody went to walking classes. I went to, sorry, uh, camera move. I went to a personality and poise course back in 1985. Once again, I don't know how I fitted all this shit in because I, I didn't have any time. Um, I have done an awful lot, as I say. But it was through in Dundee and I used to travel through by buses. So that's a long way uh, to go to this course. It was there for six weeks. And um, basically it taught you how to walk. <laughs> Oh man, I don't know what was going on in my brain at that time. Uh, but this, this um, course that I done, I used to, I mean, I went to any any prospective employer and I said to them, and this, what was this you were doing, personality and poise? What's that all about? And as soon as I told them, I said, never heard of that. It's really interesting. And uh, did, it, did it do any good? And I thought, I don't know. Uh, I must have done. Because uh, it was all about etiquette. And it was all about walking properly. <clears throat> And it was all about, I mean, I'm talking walking, like they used to put a book, a book on top of your head and uh, you had to walk um, back and forward in the classroom. There was males and females in the class, but mostly females. And um, what, what we were doing, uh, so I'm not repeating myself, but what we were actually doing is like uh, elocution, uh, etiquette, just simple forms of etiquette, uh, in this personality and poise course, as I was saying, and... Uh, <laughs> and walking correctly. Now, if you imagine uh, the, the females, you know, the skinny, lanky females that you get in the catwalk in, uh, in these uh, fashion shows and from, you know, from modeling, modeling agencies and stuff like that, and they walk differently from anyone else, that's, that's the sort of thing we we're doing. Um, it's an exaggerated walk they have on, the, on, on catwalks. You know, if you ever went to a Milan fashion show, because that's the only reason you would go to Milan, isn't it? Uh, either either for football or fashion, you wouldn't you wouldn't really go to Milan for a for a week's holiday. But um, the so the purpose of this course was, uh, as I'm saying often, was uh, to walk and stuff uh, with this book in your head, turning correctly. So there's a different if you're in. Um, I mean, it's a ele very elegant thing. Uh, if you're, I'll just revert back to supermarket or the, or the library. If you um, are stop one of the assistants and say, um, "Could you could you tell me where the tins of um, the tins of fruit are?" or 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 can you tell me where, could you tell me where your uh, local history section is, you know, in the library? And they say, "It's over there." Um, just, just behind that, that, that stack there, and you walked over. Um, if they said no, no, uh, the other side, you wouldn't stop in your tracks and just like turn and you know twist, twist your uh, arm, uh, sorry, twist your back muscles or that. You would turn, pivot and turn in a most elegant manner. And that's what I do. I, I kind of, I, I, I turn. I don't just turn round. I, I, I pivot my. It's, it's quite hard to explain this, actually. But I put my foot out and turn most elegantly. And uh, and that course actually done me a few things. So it sounds really odd me talking about this, to be honest. But um, I hope I'm making sense, because my speech is all over the fucking place. But I I'm think I'm, when I'm talking, I start to picture what I'm talking about. So I'm actually taking myself back to this course from 1985. I've done lots of different courses, but this one was, was, was quite beneficial in the real world, unlike a lot of the stuff that you do academically. And that's probably why I've done it. But um, I, mean, I didn't tell any of my mates I was doing it. Uh, I, wouldn't, I mean, I'm happy to talk about it now. But, uh, but as I say, I went to lots of employers and uh, they asked me what this was in my CV and, this, and I told them and, and they were very, very keen about hearing more, more of the subject. In fact, I remember getting, um, I remember getting interviewed for an office environment job uh, some years back and uh, the, man who, the man and the woman who uh, interviewed me 
uh, he said to me, I said, I've never met anybody more interesting than you. <laughs> <laughs> I, thought, I felt like saying that we lived a pretty dull life, but but I think he, he meant quite genuinely because I had so many so many things to talk about and so many subjects and so many uh, different jobs from my CV. He said, "I find you very interesting." So anyway, I got the job, and uh, and the woman who actually uh, this is quite quite embarrassing in a way as well. Well, it's not embarrassing; it just happened the way it did. Um, due to the um, the office environment and kind of leaning forward. Uh, at, at the, the desk all the time, uh, you start getting quite sore neck and stuff, right? These skeletal pains that you get. So one of the girls um, from a, another team came over and she tasted me, she talked away, and I told her, she said, I'll, I'll just give you a massage. Um, what time are you on lunch? And I says, oh, this time. She said, we'll go into this room. And she said, um, <laughs> she took it into this room. I mean, she she done what she said she was going to do, right, though. But... Um, <laughs> I'm whipped. I've got my shirt open and uh, sorry, my shirt whipped off, and, uh, <laughs> and my uh, my trousers, my belt undone and stuff, you know. And um, this woman who had interviewed me actually came walking in. She had the she had the room booked for some meeting, just as we were in there doing this stuff. And she, <laughs> and she was like. Ah. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. Could you not put a private sign up? And, uh, but she thought we were up to something else. It was fucking weird. Anyway, uh, at least my... Yeah, so... Neck muscles get sore. But yeah, I would say to you, if, um, if anyone's walking down the street and you think to themselves, well, they would be much better than being... They could have walked down the catwalk looking like that. They've never, they're, they're, mind you, insane that as well, Andrew. Just think about that. Or for people out there, have you ever actually seen any of the clothes that they that were worn on the catwalks in any fashion show? I remember. Um, I, I I don't have any television, as you well know, but I remember um, watching on the on Sky Television. I think it was a channel called Fashion TV. And uh, I used to just like zoom in and see what was going on. I've coming from some major fashion show and um, I sit and watch them and uh, some of the bizarre clothes they wore I've never seen anybody in my life wearing anything that's been uh, advertised on a, a model's shoulders at any of these fashion shows male or female it's just it just seems uh, stupid it's almost like it's a it's a, a clique it's a it's a, I don't I'll get the right words for that anyway this is getting too long Andrew we need to cut this just now